Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to show wrong way message and we will optimize a script a little bit more. So, first of all, uh, I have added a penalty system. So, you can add in your um, games as well, or if you don't want, you can't. Uh, you can skip this step. But for example, in some levels, uh, in uh, we can our character can our uh, skip a uh, some waypoints so for example if uh, we don't have these uh, uh, this thing here then our car can come from uh, all the way from this point to this road so it can skip these up in, uh, these waypoints here so uh, when it will skip these waypoints we should add some penalty to that car so for that purpose we have uh, added a in progress waypoint uh, script we have added two variables one is bool penalty option and one is penalty waypoint and inside this script after this car tracking we will in update function we will add if penalty option equal to true then our if car tracking is less than penalty waypoint then we can debug something we can debug the law of penalty so uh, this function you can definitely use if you want to do so in our case our track is very much uh, um, actually our track don't need this functionality because our car can't skip the progress waypoint anyhow you can apply this so for applying this uh, this system you can go to your progress waypoints uh, where however we have and for example if you think that it the uh, uh, this 12 uh, uh, waypoint can be skipped for example can be skipped and from 12 13 14 15 waypoints can be skipped for example or we can go towards the 11 12 like this so for example these um, penalty points can be skipped and then from which penalty point they can skip so for example from 9 then what we will do we will select all of these and uh, we will come here and we will add penalty option in active and here we will add that penalty waypoint okay we, from where uh, our car can cheat uh, the race okay so this is the um, option which you can use definitely so definitely for this track we don't need this functionality so for time i will just uh, disable uh, this function i will just comment it and on uh, this one I will just comment it and it is placed in the script so if you want to use it you can use it in for your games so that's great so now moving further we also want to show the wrong way message so for that purpose we will just come here and inside car tracking WP number we actually don't need these debugs now I will just delete these debugs and this one as well we don't need it and this save script dot wrong message from the car tracking WP number we don't need it at all we will apply it directly in the progress tracker section okay so now moving back to progress tracker script we will add something so we will create a update function uh, here in this script and then we will add if the current WP is greater than last WP number okay then we will start a core routine of a check direction and uh, for this core routine we I have just added the seconds of 0.5 F seconds so it will just wait for 5, 0.5 half a second and then uh, it will check uh, it will just uh, make the this WP number to last WP number so uh, what it means is that if we are moving towards the wrong way uh, point it will calculate the um, um, it will calculate these uh, uh, the waypoints uh, and uh, it will uh, calculate waypoint every uh, half second 
and then it will check the that waypoint and it will just uh, make that waypoint equal to the last waypoint number and then we are creating this if statement and we are saying that if uh, our last waypoint number is greater than this waypoint number so we are going to uh, for example the last waypoint number is greater than this waypoint number then we are on the right path okay and uh, if the last waypoint number is less than this waypoint number then we are on wrong way sorry uh, wrong way will be true okay in this way so we can actually delete these debugs because uh, we don't need these debugs and uh, this is the code which we want here for the uh, progress tracker script and now we will finally go to UI script and inside UI script we have created one more variable here uh, in uh, with the name of public game object wrong way text and then we in star function we have added wrong way text to be set active uh, false initially you can uh, actually make it false and editor as well and then uh, where we are making the wrong and uh, actually approximately in the last here before I enumerators uh, uh, in the update function after this line of code we will add this if statement and we will say that if say script or wrong way equal to true then wrong way message will be active otherwise wrong way message should not active so let's try it out inside our unity so let's move to unity and before doing anything else we will create a ui text uh, for our uh, uh, for our message so here we will just go to canvas let's uh, click here let's go to ui legacy text and uh, then uh, we will just uh, add it wrong way like this let's change the font to something like i don't know which font we have used for other these text i just forget anyhow uh, let's make it 60 maybe and we can align it and uh, wrap it our flow and you can see here we have this message and let's click here and let's make it white or maybe red or yes red color will be good i think so here you can see that wrong way text is appeared here but uh, the font is a little bit different so i will just go to the other fonts so let's go to labels position label maybe and here you can see good time uh, font is selected so good times font okay so for the wrong message we will also select the good time font so this one i think and uh, now if we go to game you can see we have very nice message here so we can make it bigger a little bit maybe like this and you can appear this message to the uh, maybe at this spot on the top maybe so let's uh, move this its position so let's go to scene view select this thing and uh, let's go to 2d also you can see we can set this anchor uh, rect transform and uh, here we can place it in the middle and uh, i think it is much bigger so let's add it here and then we will just move it to the this spot maybe and sorry okay so that's good i think so now what we will do we will just select the canvas we have script on the canvas i think ui script and here you can see one more wrong way message so we'll just uh, select this text but before that i will just 
rename the text to wrong way mass way text maybe and then we will just select the canvas and inside UI script we will drag drop this text here initially you can make it active or inactive it's up to you and now if we play the game uh, let's see that how it will work so now you can see that we are moving here and we are actually on the wrong uh, on the right way so if we move back to wrong way then what will happen so uh, let's move back and let's move towards the wrong way so let's see okay the message didn't appear yeah actually it appeared now for some reason it's not appeared before because uh, my uh, waypoint trackers are quite uh, uh, far away so that's why so now if we move back and if we move towards the right way then hopefully it should gone after we uh, cross some tracker okay and you can see that when we cross the tracker now you can see that we don't have any uh, wrong way message okay so here you can see wrong way message appeared for instant because uh, uh, yeah so because of lap okay so we will fix this uh, in next video uh, when we will just complete our lab system so uh, when we will uh, our car will f uh, just reach and complete its lap we will record the that thing as well so in the next video we will move further goodbye